Hey, 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 this is Bradley of Bradley Teaches, and welcome back to day two of this mini course on creating graphics to enhance your videos and your brand. Today, we're going to jump right on in, and I'm going to describe for you the second type of graphic, and it is a lower third. As you look here on your screen, you'll see a grid. That's actually the rule of nines or the rule of thirds, right? It's a graphic term or a photographer term. And as you see, my video screen is laid out in a grid of three with nine little squares, right? Upper, middle, lower, um, left, center, right. Okay. So with that being said, if you see here at the bottom, this is the lower third of my screen, upper, middle, lower third and lower third. All that means is whatever graphics you're using are in this lower quadrant of your screen. So that's why I highlighted it here and also wanted to show you the grid. Now, what are lower thirds good for? And I'm going to jump right into that real quick before I show you how to build them. Lower thirds are great for showing your name and a title or your guest name and a title right in that lower third area. They can also be used as a call to action like this. So like if you agree that lower thirds are a great way for enhancing your videos, it's a way to get your audience to engage with you, right? And it's still here in the lower third away from the high action part of the video, which is the upper two thirds, right? Where I'm speaking at my eyes and my mouth are here. And then we have also another type of call to action, things that you may forget to say during your video or that you want to restate in your video without having to repeat it over and over like, like share and comment. So this is a great way to utilize a lower third for your branding. You can also put these things in your brand colors as you saw in my first call to action, right? These are my brand colors. So it's just another way to carry through your brand. So with that, let's jump back into Canva and I'm going to show you how to make a couple of these lower thirds. Let's go. Okay. So here we are in Canva. Let's go to create a new design and presentation yet again. And we're going to go back again and make this background black so we can get some high contrast. And so what we're going to do is we're going to build this in pieces kind of like we did our logo bug. So let's first go to text. And we're going to add our text for our name and our title. So in this case, I'm going to do Bradley teaches, make that bold and make it a decent size for a lower third and make that around 55 or so. I'm just going to copy and paste that so I can make my second line, which will be my title. And sometimes I'll do my titles a little different than my, than my main name. So I'll make it 33 and I'll make it unbolded, right? So I can have that contrast even of size and weight. Then I'm going to align these up on my screen here as they would be placed in my video. And the next part is easy, right? I'm just going to add some boxes from the elements area and then colorize those to give it contrast for each part. So let's go ahead and knock out this first box. And I want to make my boxes where they're not really very tight on the text, but I don't want them too bulky looking either because we're just basically using two rectangles, right? So there's kind of a sweet spot for this. You don't make them too bulky, but you want them to actually cover up the text and give the text a little room to breathe. So the top one, I'll make blue, one of my brand colors and the bottom I'll make white, which is just an easy contrast color, right? And then with that, I need to make my text a different color. Let's make it black. And I'm noticing here that light text is not the greatest thing. So I'll probably go back and make that bold too. Uh, but let me just check that. Yeah, make it bold. All right, got them aligned to the right with each other. And that's basically it. That is a lower third now of name and title, place where I want it, bottom, lower third, bottom corner, off to the side, done. Now, what we're going to do now is let's work out the other lower third, which is a call to action. I'm going to use just the text boxes that I have here to get that started off instead of just redoing everything. And this is a call to action for users during the video. Like if you make something cool and say, Hey, like this, if you agree, right. And just pop it at the bottom of the screen. 
And then obviously I'm going to say something about lower thirds to see if that's what they agree with, right? Go ahead and get this typed out. And I'm going to align this to the bottom here. And let's get this formatting and spacing right for this lower third that I'm trying to create. And I'm going to use one of my other brand colors just to brighten it up some. But this lower box here, let me see. I'm going to actually use one of my graphic step and repeats here of my logo. Let's use this blue one. I'm going to place it down here and make it the size of the complete bottom area, then kind of crop it, right? So there we go. Just to add a little extra texture, right? Something just a little bit different, so not as plain. And I'm branding, right? So continuously branding all the time. So let's make this ball one of my brand colors or close to it. I don't have to match it exactly for this example, but it is a yellow color. And the text is contrasting. So now... Let's add some icons to it to kind of jazz this up a little bit. An icon that I obviously want to use is the like icon. So I'm going to look for my thumbs up icon here. And there we go. And as you notice, that is a pro icon, but there's several free ones also. So this can be done with the free version. Let's get this aligned up. And what I want to do is actually set that thumb off a little bit. So let me go back over here to elements and I'm going to pick like just a basic shape. There's a circle there. I'm going to put that behind this thumb. Let me size that down some here. So I'm just adding accent to the icon, the like icon, right? Get this aligned up a little bit and push it back. So it's kind of tweaking things here, kind of getting the layout exactly how I want it. Move this text over so it's not encroaching on that icon too much, which then makes me have to adjust the box too, right? Kind of just part of the design process. And I don't need that blue there. That's too much, uh, too close to the other blue. Nice gray is good for that. And what I also like to do is show you how to make a pseudo outline here. So all I have to do is get that circle, copy it, move it over, then kind of make it a little bit bigger than the original. Give it a good contrasting color. And then we're going to place this behind the other circle. And we'll get that kind of pseudo outline look, right? So just position it back a few times. And once I get this alignment right, we are good to go with this circle. And tweak the size down just a little more. All right, so there we go. So this is a lower third call to action. So I hope that these were helpful. First with the name and title, lower third, and now with the call to action. These are easy ways to create engagement in your videos and brand them well. Catch y'all in the next video. Bye-bye.